Welcome to Dentamax. In this video, we're going to go through setting up new users inside of Dentamax. To begin, we'll click the Settings button in the top right corner of the screen. Under Practice Information, we're going to click Set Up Users. By setting up users inside of Dentamax, you'll be able to track user activity and also dictate what users are allowed to perform what functions. This is helpful when you're running reports to track down who made what changes in the system. It's also helpful to make sure that different staff members, be it permanent or temporary, are not able to change certain things that they shouldn't be allowed to change. What people are allowed to change is totally up to you in your practice. To begin, I'm going to go to the Options menu on the left-hand side and click New User. The user login should be simple and typically is somebody's first name. For example, Kayla. In the namespace, you'll type in their full name. The password can be set as a temporary password and then the user can change it to their preferred password once they log in or you can preset a permanent password. For now, I'll put in password1 as a temporary password. The security level is going to dictate what category or level of user this person should be. Level 1 typically has the highest amount of security clearance, meaning they can perform the most functions. Level 1 typically should be reserved for business owners, the dentist, or practice administrator. Kayla, in my practice, is going to be the receptionist who checks in and checks out the patients when they arrive and when they're leaving. So I'm going to make her user level 3. Once we set up our users, we'll next be able to dictate what level 3 is able to do. You now have an option to set a default facility as well for each user. That means if Kayla typically works out of our East office, I can set that as her home base. You're also able to hide the patient names in the scheduler according to that user login. So if Kayla were an assistant and was in the operatory with the patient and had the schedule pulled up, we would want to make sure that the patient names on the schedule were hidden and she'll be able to see the chart number instead of the name. The next setting is to dictate whether or not the user needs to change the password when they first log in with their new user login. So if you've set up a temporary password for them and you want them to set their own permanent password, go ahead and leave this box checked. If you've already set up a permanent password for them, go ahead and uncheck that box. There are also additional settings as far as what pop-ups the user will see when they're opening different screens. Every patient in the system has the ability to have different types of alerts pop up when you open their patient record, meaning their patient information screen, their chart, when you're scheduling an appointment, or any other screen that relates to that patient. The pop-up is designed to give you critical information when you're accessing that patient data, no matter where you're at in the software. This allows you to dictate which pop-ups the user in question should be able to see that are important to them performing their job properly. We have an option to choose whether or not this user should see alert notes, medical alerts, medications, and acknowledgments due. Because Kayla will be working as a receptionist at the front office, I want her to see all of these items. Therefore, I'm going to leave them all checked. At the bottom of the screen, there is a section to plug in the electronic prescription information if this user was allowed to create electronic prescriptions for patients. Kayla won't be creating prescriptions, so I'm going to leave that blank. Once you're done choosing your preferences for this user, you're going to go to the Options menu on the left and click Save Changes or hit the F3 key. Now we have a new user in the system under Level 3. You are able to edit the user's security clearance later if need be simply by going back to this user screen, editing the user, and changing any of the settings as needed. If you have any further questions about creating users, please contact the training department at 1-800-704-8494 or email training at dentamax.com. Thank you.